Hey guys, I'm Gamer Mate. Welcome back to a new video. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how to make a very own placement building system. Okay, so first thing, you need to make the GUI. So, in the starter GUI, add in a screen GUI, then name it to placement GUI. Then inside of that, add in a frame, change the anchor point to 0 0.5, comma 0 0.5. Then, for position, Change it to 0 0.1, comma 0, comma 0 0.5, comma 0. Then for the size, change that to 0 0.3, comma 0, comma 0 0.3, comma 0. Then for the size constraint, change that to relative yy. And that's it for a frame. Now you can see we have three buttons. One named wall, one named door, and then one named table. So what we need to do is name the button to the exact same name as the object. And then all these are the same size and stuff like that. So the anchor point is 0 0.5 comma 0 0.5. Then the position is 0 0.5 comma 0 comma 0 0.2 comma 0. Then for size, it's 0 0.8, comma 0, comma 0 0.2, comma 0. Then for size constraint, it's relative yy. Okay, so now we need to make the objects. So I'll just skip ahead until I've made some. Okay, so what you need to do is make the parts, then group the parts together like this. If you want, you can name it, you don't have to. Then we make another part that fills the entire model. Then we set the transparency to one. We change the name to main part. Then anchored is true. And can collide is off. Then we group the model and the main part together, which is now this table. And then for properties, we set the primary part to the main part. So make sure you set the primary part to the main part for each object. So now I'll just skip ahead until I've done the same thing for the other two. There we go, like this. Okay, so once we've got that, in the replicate storage, add in a folder, and then name it to object folder, then put them inside the folder, like that. And now, inside replicate storage, add in a remote event, then name it to placement event, like that. Okay, so now, in the um, GUI, if we open it, then inside the GUI, add in a local script, and name it to placement and then client, like that. So if we remove print, like that. So now if we make a variable for the placement event, so local placement event equals to game dot replicate storage dot placement event, then local object folder equals to game dot replicate storage colon wait for child then object folder and do local player equals to game dot players dot local player then local character equals to player dot character or player dot character added then colon wait then go down. Now do local mouse equals to player colon get mouse then brackets. Now we'll be doing local frame equals to script dot parent colon wait for child bracket speech marks and then frame. Then we'll do one for the user input service. 
So local user input service equals game colon get service then brackets then we could do speech marks and then type in user input service now we'll do the run service so local run service equals game colon get service brackets speech marks then run service now if we go down and make a variable for placing object equals to false then local rotating object equals to false so now if we make a for loop so for i comma button in pairs brackets then frame colon get children brackets and then do now scroll down a bit so if do if button colon is a bracket speech marks then text button then or if you're using an image button then you could just replace that with image so now if we do button dot mouse button one click colon connect function brackets then go down they'll do if placing oops they'll do if placing object equals equals to false then now if we do placing object equals to true now if we do frame dot visible equals to then false and scroll down a bit now make a variable for the rotation amount so local rotation amount equals to zero then go down and do local preview object equals to object folder colon find first child brackets then button dot name that's our brackets do colon clone brackets now we'll set the parent of the preview object to the workspace so preview object dot parent equals game dot workspace then we'll use a for loop to get the parts in pairs brackets then preview object colon get descendants brackets and then do now do if parts colon is a bracket speech marks then base part then then do parts dot transparency equals to we'll do 0 0.5 then parts dot can collide equals to false like that and underneath these two ends if we go down so if we do user input service dot input began colon connect brackets function two more brackets then key colon game processed then go down now if, do, if not game processed then then if key dot key code equals equals to enum dot key code dot r then rotate an object equals to true then while rotate an object equals equals to true do then if we add in a weight then if we do rotation amount plus equals then we'll do like two okay so just fix these ends all the way up to the first one that has a bracket so underneath them if we do user input service input 
have then ended colon connect brackets function brackets then we'll do key then if key dot key code equals equals to enum dot key code dot r then we'll do rotating object equals to false like that once again fix these okay so now if we do run service dot render stepped colon connect brackets function to more brackets then go down then we'll do if placing object equals equals to true then then we'll do mouse dot target filter equals to and then preview object then now if we do if preview object colon find first child and then bracket speech marks then main part then now if we make a variable for the new C frame so local object C frame equals to C frame dot new brackets then mouse dot hit dot position dot x then comma now we just copy paste that one line then paste then change x to y then we do plus preview object then scroll out a bit dot primary part dot size dot y forward slash and then two comma then paste in the line again but then change x to a z or a z then i'll just scroll out a bit so you can see the full line then zoom in underneath that i know it looks a bit weird but it's fine now if we make a variable for the object angles equals to c frame dot angles then brackets then if you do zero comma math dot rad brackets then rotation amount comma zero like that then we do fees if we do preview object colon set primary part c frame brackets then object c frame and then times object angles like that so now if you just fix these there we go then underneath that we'll be doing mouse dot button one up colon connect brackets function brackets then go down then if we do if placing object equals equals to true then place an object equals to false then placement event colon fire server then if we do preview object dot name comma preview object dot primary part dot c frame once we back if we do frame dot visible equals to true what oops then if we do preview object colon destroy brackets then that should be it for them for the um local script if we close it off now if we go to service script service then add in a script then name it to placement um server like that and all we need to do now is make the variable for the placement event equals game dot replicate storage dot placement event then local object folder equals game dot replicate storage colon wait for child then speech marks 
then object folder. Now if you do placement event dot on server event colon connect function and then player comma preview object comma then object C frame. Now if we make a variable for the object equals to the object folder colon find first child then preview object then clone so colon clone brackets then object colon set primary part C frame then object C frame underneath that we'll do object dot parent equals to game dot workspace now we've closed it off and click play okay so once we load it in if we click wall big C we can um, see it on my mouse and we can rotate it by holding R then click to place it like that we could do the same for a door like this and then the same for the table rotate it like that so guys that's gonna be it for this video if this video helped make sure to leave a like comment and subscribe down below in the description you can check out my robots group and discord server and i'll see you later bye